in different area codes. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It is dark. I am in traffic. I'm ready to go home. It is Friday. I have not seen you guys in so long. I have just been missing. I will give you guys the update. Good, bad, all that good stuff. I think I just want to do an intro to the vlog before I don't do it at all. I was gonna wash my hair today. I can't do it. I don't have it in me to wash my hair today. So I'm gonna do it on Sunday because I'm gonna do like a little self-care Sunday. I'll insert that in the video, like a little self-care thing. And I'll give y'all a scoop down of what's been going on. It's like sad, happy, mad. It's just a whole bunch. But I've been getting through it all. Because that's just who I get. But um, this traffic is not doing it right now. I'm ready to go home and eat and do nothing. But this traffic is not. It's not. Like I've literally been driving for an hour. Going to pick up my bunny. So if you guys ever watched my vlog, I had a bunny. I don't think I put her on, did I put her in the vlogs? I don't think so. I think I put her on a short, that was it. But I got videos of her. I'm gonna start some videos of her and have a little memorial. But she passed away last Thursday. I don't know why, I don't, I just don't know. I'll give y'all a little scoop down while I'm doing my hair because I just picked her up and I'm a little emotional so it's just gonna be too much I need to like wind down and be able to express what happened so stay tuned what I have going on for the week I don't know I don't know but of course it's gonna be exciting hello my vlogs are not boring if you didn't watch my vlogs and you're new go run it back but I will see you guys later bye I'm so groovy. I am Pluto. No, no, okay. I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. I got power. I just bought it. I'm so groovy. I got power. I'm so groovy. I got power. That's your bitch. I just bought it. Oh, that's your bitch. I just bought it. Hello there. Happy Sunday. It is do my hair reset day. I am in the middle of detangling my hair. So that it's a mess. I am going to use this bio if it focus rice water treatment this is how I barely use it just sit in the closet but I'm about to do my hair I'm about to condition my hair uh, let it sit so you're supposed to let your hair be damp and you apply this on your hair for 15 minutes and then you wash it out in the shower and then I'm going to wash my hair with my Cantu products and then I'm going to put this on my hair it's a hair mask. It's by, uh, what's this brand called again? I don't know, but it, you've seen this. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, them. Um, so I'm going to put some of this after I shampoo my hair. And then I'm going to twist my hair. I'm going to blow dry my hair. Then twist my hair. And then we're going to take it out in the morning. I'm going to let y'all see it in the morning. But while I'm detangling my hair, let me scoop y'all up on the tea. What's been going on? I think I said I was gonna do that today. Well, I said that Friday, which was two days ago. But update, like my hair grew so long. Like, I gotta show you guys up before and after. Like, my hair grew so long. But I'm thinking about coloring my hair again. I'm gonna show y'all what color I'm thinking about doing. Somebody gotta tell me no because look at my hair growing back so beautifully. All I do is trim my ends, protect the styles, and leave in conditioner. That's it. I'm not even gonna, I don't even put a lot of oil on my hair as I should, but I still been, it's still been growing. So, 
But um, yeah, back to the tea. So, ew, it looks so nasty. Ew. Um, my bunny, I'm gonna start with the air because this is sad. My bunny died last Thursday. It was so sudden. If you have a bunny, just know that they are very sensitive. If you're thinking about getting a bunny, they're very sensitive and they're easy to manage and take care of, but they're like very sensitive animals. So just be precautious. Like that happened so suddenly. Like I came home Thursday, she was fine. Let her run out the cage, the normal routine. Had her hay, had her little snack. Came out the cage and uh, checked on her. A little bit later, she had diarrhea, and I'm like, "What? What's going on? Like, what's going on?" So, my conscious telling me, "Like, oh, take her to the vet." Never took her to the vet before. Never had to take her to the vet. She was never sick. Nothing. She was two years old. I should say two and a half years old. Two and a half years old. And look how them curls. Period. But um, yeah, she just. I don't know we took it to the vet and I didn't the doctor was being like very pessimistic like well you know I just want to prepare you no take care of her y'all should have seen the bill of the vet I was like girl like pets are very expensive to take care of when you gotta take them to the vet <laughs> I was like oh no so that was going on and then we took her in the middle of the night to the me and the kids took her to the vet in the middle of the night and she um got seen and then we left like seven that morning no we left like 6 30 that morning mind you it's going into friday i have work the kids have camp we get home at seven o'clock we she was in like a box i'm gonna start a box that she was in she was in a box and i'm gonna start a video like how she was acting like she was very like not herself and I said to her, like, I mean, I got home and we were in the car and it was like going into seven o'clock. We opened the box up. It was like she was having a seizure or like shaking. Like she was doing this shaky move on her back. We flipped her over. We all three saw her die. Like she just instantly died after that. And we were just sitting there like, are you, are you kidding me? So she like instantly died and it was just so sad like i she like looked at me as the last person before she died so that was just mind you i had to go to work in two hours so i didn't have no sleep my buddy just died the kids didn't have no sleep they had to go to camp it was just a lot i didn't take off work i'm gonna get to that but i didn't take off work and it was just a lot going on and yeah so then uh, what happened next? I got to work. I was just so tired, so upset. We just been missing her. Like, the, it's just not the same without her. And you know, when people used to be crying over dogs, I used to be like, not understanding. Oh, I get it now. I get it. It's a lot. But, you know, we hang it in here. I got her cremated. They, uh,. They gave us this little bag. We have like a piece of her hair. I'll show you guys when I'm done with my hair. What they put in my week. So I got her cremated. And you know, we didn't want we wanted to bury her, but it was nowhere for me to bury her. But then I found out the place that I got her cremated, they had like a cemetery. But the the video that I'm that I think I inserted, I'm going to insert it. Um, at the beginning, like, it was all the way, like, 40 minutes away. Like, I didn't want to drive every 40 minutes. Like, I just was like, like, you know, to see her, I was like, just have her be in the home with us. So, she's here with us, cremated. And it was just, like, when I picked her up, I just started crying. And I was doing my intro to, no, I was doing my intro. And then I just couldn't finish the intro because I started crying. So, then I started my intro a little bit afterwards to this video. So, that happened... I got a new job and that's why I have not been vlogging because I just it's been a transition for me like it's been a transition um so that's not the only thing because I could have still vlogged like I have some videos I just never it just wasn't enough going on 
it's just a lot. So I transitioned to another job. I love the job. So I am a hair manager. So I do with youth now. And you know, with mental illness, behavioral, and disorders. Like I do all types of youth. Um, just trying to be there. Well, basically like an advocate for them to like get them help and stuff. But whatever needs they are, like for example, if it's a behavior um, issue, like trying to get them the help, the guidance that they need for their behavioral um, issues and stuff like that. So it's already been a month that I've been in that been at that job, a little bit over a month. I really like it. I really like the um, co-workers that I have, the supervisors. They're really cool. Um, I like the ice machine. I like the hot chocolate. I like the vending machine. I like the kitchen. I know that's kind of like girl what, but some jobs don't have that. So I love that for them. Um, what else? I'm trying to see what else has been going on. Oh, um, oh, so the first, the first paycheck that I was supposed to get for my job, didn't get it. So I basically did not get paid for a month. Can you imagine living in New Jersey and not getting paid for a month? Trash trash so i did not have no paycheck for a whole month but i was able to survive barely but i was able to survive um thank god my dad taught me some tricks when i was little so i was able to survive um and what i mean what i mean by that is he taught me how to save money and not spend money on stupid stuff so I was able to survive, um, discipline myself, and I still didn't get that check. So what happened was the lady at the branch, the bank branch, she put down someone else's account number and not mine, and the job entered that in the system and never got my check. It went to somebody else. So they're, oh shit. They're being happy with my check right now while I'm just not having no one check. Mind you, somehow my last job gave me a check, a direct deposit. Don't know how that even happened because I wasn't working there no more. And they took it right back in five hours. So I'm just trying to figure out why I can't get my money that went to the wrong account. Because basically they sent me money and it wasn't supposed to be sent to me, my old job. So I don't know why my new job is taking too long, but we gonna handle that tomorrow. Cause I've been real patient. So we gonna handle that tomorrow. But anyway, that's been going on. These are, this little product is making my curls look really nice and rejuvenated. I really like it. What else been going on? That's about, oh, dating? No. Nope. Do I have a, Ow! Freaking tangled. I have nope. There is no dating going on. There is no nothing. <laughs> like literally, like I think it's me because I don't put myself out there as I should, but I'm also like not in the headspace for it. Because I just be seeing too many relationships like make it look so good on social media and then they broken up in like two months and i just began like i'm like is it worth it is it worth it like i don't know the dating poll right now is not it like i'm just like you know you're not about to come correct i don't want it i'm just ch i'm chilling i'm chilling because it's just nothing going on Everybody for themselves. Nobody really wants a healthy relationship. Nobody really wants to like actually work it out or nothing. Nobody wants to be faithful. Nobody wants to be honest. You know, and that goes for both girls and guys. I'm not even trying to say it's only guys. It's both. Now me, I'm not like that. Like I'm, if I'm in a relationship, I'm honest. I'm loyal all that but it just i don't know and i'm not trying to have nobody be with nobody who about to try to come sleep on my couch i'm sorry i know it's hard out here but i'm trying to be a passenger princess okay once to sit on the side 
Like I want I want you to take control. I don't need that where no, we're not doing that. So that's like a whole nother I'm not trying to get into that too much because this is not really nothing to get into, but this is like not it out here no more. Like it's it's not even fun. Like it's not even fun. <laughs> But yeah, that's the tea for right now. Hey guys, so I am getting ready for the beach. And my hair is like all over the place. Like literally. So I'm about to fix this because, yeah. I'm going to, I don't know what I should do. Should I put it in a ponytail like this? my hair curly I think that's what I'm gonna do do it like this and let it be curly I wanted this whole other hairstyle but I don't feel like doing all that so I'm just gonna let it be like this and the ponytail and curly I see my mother I see my guns I haven't even been to the gym you see them guns 